A biography is to be published about the life of a remarkable Derby woman who became the first Westerner to be ordained as a Tibetan Buddhist nun. Yes, Frida Bedi, who died almost 40 years ago now, was also a key figure in the fight against the British Raj. She'd married an Indian man. She was imprisoned for her support of Mahatma Gandhi. Navte Johal has been to meet the man who is writing her life story. Monk Street, uh, this was her father's uh, watchmakers and jeweller shop. She was born here in February 1911. Now a tanning salon, this building is where Frida Bedi, a woman who crossed both figurative and literal boundaries, started her journey. Journalist Andrew Whitehead, who worked in India for the BBC, now wants to tell that story to a wider audience and is writing her biography, due to be published next year. Her parents were shopkeepers, so they weren't very poor, and getting on in life was really important for them. Frida's young life was disrupted when her father died fighting in World War I. He died when she was seven, and I think much of her questing and crossing of boundaries throughout her life was trying to come to terms with the loss of a father who she barely remembered. And we've come to Little Over Parish Church to see the memorial where his name is present. Yeah, that's him, Francis E. Houlston. Frida won a scholarship to study at the University of Oxford, where she met her future husband, an Indian man named BPL Bedi, a relationship which raised eyebrows at Oxford and among her family. There was a lot of talk about it being courageous, uh, remarkable, exceptional and certainly controversial. Frida and BPL moved to India, where they started a family and became involved in the campaign for Indian independence. When Gandhi called upon his followers to be arrested as part of a campaign during the war, she volunteered for arrest and she spent three months in Lahore Women's Jail. In the 1950s, Frida became the first Western woman to be ordained as a Tibetan Buddhist nun. Her husband gave his blessing to her decision, even though it meant the end of their marriage in any conventional sense. This is Frida Bedi's family home in Littleover, where she grew up. Why should the people of Derby and the East Midlands be interested in this woman? What is her legacy? Well, first of all, she was a Derby woman who certainly made her mark on the world. But also, when today we're so concerned about identity and whether it's based on ethnicity or nationality or religion, she challenged all those boundaries in a way that was quite remarkable for that time and still, I think, speaks to us today.